Ligand field theory LFT describes the bonding, orbital arrangement, and other characteristics of coordination complexes. It represents an application of molecular orbital theory to transition metal complexes. A transition metal ion has nine valence atomic orbitals, consisting of 5 nd, 3 n plus 1 p, and 1 n plus 1 s orbitals. These orbitals are of appropriate energy to form bonding interaction with ligands. The LFT analysis is highly dependent on the geometry of the complex, but most explanations begin by describing octahedral complexes, where six ligands coordinate to the metal. Other complexes can be described by reference to crystal field theory. History Ligand field theory resulted from combining the principles laid out in molecular orbital theory and crystal field theory, which describes the loss of degeneracy of metal d orbitals in transition metal complexes. John Stanley Griffith and Leslie Orgel championed ligand field theory as a more accurate description of such complexes. They used the electrostatic principles established in crystal field theory to describe transition metal ions in solution, and they used molecular orbital theory to explain the differences in metal ligand interactions. In their paper, they propose that the chief cause of color differences in transition metal complexes in solution is the incomplete d orbital subshells. That is, the unoccupied d orbitals of transition metals participate in bonding, which influences the colors they absorb in solution. In ligand field theory, the various d orbitals are affected differently when surrounded by a field of neighboring ligands and are raised or lowered in energy based on the strength of their interaction with the ligands. Topic: <laughs> Bonding. Topic: Sigma bonding. Sigma bonding. In an octahedral complex, the molecular orbitals created by coordination can be seen as resulting from the donation of two electrons by each of six sigma donor ligands to the d orbitals on the metal. In octahedral complexes, ligands approach along the x, y, and z axes, so their sigma symmetry orbitals form bonding and anti-bonding combinations with the dz2 and dx2 minus y2 orbitals. The dxy, dxz, and dyz orbitals remain non-bonding orbitals. Some weak bonding and anti-bonding interactions with the s and p orbitals of the metal also occur to make a total of six bonding and six anti-bonding molecular orbitals. In molecular symmetry terms, the six lone pair orbitals from the ligands one from each ligand form six symmetry-adapted linear combinations SALCs of orbitals, also sometimes called ligand group orbitals LGOs. The irreducible representations that these span are a 1 gram, T1U and EG. The metal also has six valence orbitals that span these irreducible representations. The s orbital is labeled a 1 gram, a set of 3 p orbitals is labeled T1u, and the dz2 and dx2 minus y2 orbitals are labeled eg. The six sigma bonding molecular orbitals result from the combinations of ligand SALCs with metal orbitals of the same symmetry. Topic. Pi bonding, pi bonding Pi bonding in octahedral complexes occurs in two ways, via any ligand p orbitals that are not being used in sigma bonding, and via any pi or pi asterisk molecular orbitals present on the ligand. In the usual analysis, the p orbitals of the metal are used for sigma bonding and have the wrong symmetry to overlap with the ligand p or pi or pi asterisk orbitals anyway, so the pi interactions take place with the appropriate metal d orbitals, i.e. dxy, dxz and dyz. These are the orbitals that are non-bonding when only sigma bonding takes place. One important pi bonding in coordination complexes is metal to ligand pi bonding, also called pi backbonding. It occurs when the lumos lowest unoccupied molecular orbitals of the ligand are anti-bonding pi asterisk orbitals. These orbitals are close in energy to the dxy, dxz and dyz orbitals, with which they combine to form bonding orbitals i.e. orbitals of lower energy than the aforementioned set of d orbitals. 
The corresponding anti-bonding orbitals are higher in energy than the anti-bonding orbitals from sigma bonding so, after the new pi bonding orbitals are filled with electrons from the metal d orbitals, delta O has increased and the bond between the ligand and the metal strengthens. The ligands end up with electrons in their pi asterisk molecular orbital, so the corresponding pi bond within the ligand weakens. The other form of coordination pi bonding is ligand to metal bonding. This situation arises when the pi symmetry p or pi orbitals on the ligands are filled. They combine with the dxy, dxz and dyz orbitals on the metal and donate electrons to the resulting pi symmetry bonding orbital between them and the metal. The metal ligand bond is somewhat strengthened by this interaction, but the complementary anti-bonding molecular orbital from ligand to metal bonding is not higher in energy than the anti-bonding molecular orbital from the sigma bonding. It is filled with electrons from the metal d orbitals, however, becoming the HOMO highest occupied molecular orbital of the complex. For that reason, delta O decreases when ligand to metal bonding occurs. The greater stabilization that results from metal to ligand bonding is caused by the donation of negative charge away from the metal ion, towards the ligands. This allows the metal to accept the sigma bonds more easily. The combination of ligand to metal sigma bonding and metal to ligand pi bonding is a synergic effect, as each enhances the other. As each of the six ligands has two orbitals of pi symmetry, there are twelve in total. The symmetry adapted linear combinations of these fall into four triply degenerate irreducible representations, one of which is of T2 g symmetry. The dxy, dxz and dyz orbitals on the metal also have this symmetry, and so the pi bonds formed between a central metal and six ligands also have it, as these pi bonds are just formed by the overlap of two sets of orbitals with T2 g symmetry. Topic. Role of metal p orbitals Current computational findings suggest valence p orbitals on the metal participate in metal ligand bonding, albeit weakly. Some new theoretical treatments do not count the metal p orbitals in metal ligand bonding, although these orbitals are still included as polarization functions. This model has yet to be adopted by the general chemistry community. Topic. High and low spin and the spectrochemical series The six bonding molecular orbitals that are formed are filled with the electrons from the ligands, and electrons from the d orbitals of the metal ion occupy the non bonding and, in some cases, anti bonding MOS. The energy difference between the latter two types of MOS is called delta O, o stands for octahedral and is determined by the nature of the pi interaction between the ligand orbitals with the d orbitals on the central atom. As described above, pi donor ligands lead to a small delta O and are called weak or low field ligands, whereas pi acceptor ligands lead to a large value of delta O and are called strong or high field ligands. Ligands that are neither pi donor nor pi acceptor give a value of delta O somewhere in between. The size of delta O determines the electronic structure of the d4d7 ions. In complexes of metals with these d electron configurations, the non bonding and anti bonding molecular orbitals can be filled in two ways one in which as many electrons as possible are put in the non bonding orbitals before filling the anti bonding orbitals, and one in which as many unpaired electrons as possible are put in. The former case is called low spin, while the latter is called high spin. A small delta O can be overcome by the energetic gain from not pairing the electrons, leading to high spin. When delta O is large, however, the spin pairing energy becomes negligible by comparison and a low spin state arises. The spectrochemical series is an empirically derived list of ligands ordered by the size of the splitting delta that they produce. It can be seen that the low field ligands are all pi donors such as I minus, the high field ligands are pi acceptors such as Cn minus and Co, and ligands such as H2O and NH3, which are neither, are in the middle. I minus. Topic. See also. Crystal field theory. Ligand-dependent pathway. Molecular orbital theory.